Granny, is that you? Really? You haven't forgotten old Granny Zena, huh? Good for you. How's the Vavilov complex treating you? Look at that. You like the cute little bush they got there? That cute little bush almost killed me. I barely made it out in one All right, piece. We're down. Now I'm stuck here with this lousy piece of shit, Valon. Here's a little tip for you, Sonny. You need bigger guns. Then you can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Oh, right. shit. Right. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You should stop by my hut. Yeah. I'll find you a blueprint. And it'll help you back into that Volan. Oh, one shot? Some codes for it around here someplace. Your cool. hut? What kind of Baba Yaga would I be without a hut on chicken legs? They broke the mold when they made you, Granny. All right. I'll come to your hut. Where is it? See the field on the hill? Down the road from that tower of yours. Head that way and wait for me there. I won't be long. Damn me, I'm already there. And I remember there was something over here. And I was disappointed. Okay. So we're not far. Okay. So it breaks loose. Back up, back up, back up. Wah, wah, wah. Mm. Oh, shit. What? Let me go, you son of a bitch. I mean, I will be dead. Dead her? So I saw like half a second. Oh, about time. That fucking bot almost killed me. Damn. And I just hit pause because the did this heat. What is this? Well, I'm here now, Sonny. Thanks for the assist. Granny Zena, so, where are these big guns of yours? I'm gonna need them. Come on in. Have a cup of tea. Have a cup of tea. Alright. Well, can I loot this guy? I bet he had, like, cool stuff. It's not. Same. Alright. But yeah, yeah. Kettle's there. Help yourself. Uh, okay. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. Yeah, <laughs> they're always cartoons. What the hell are you? <clears throat> Regarding Shush. the reports, your beloved such enough, son. I want you to watch closely. At facility 3826. <clears throat> the malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry corrected about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal. I am fully aware of Are it. you? <laughs> Our atomic heart project My. is in jeopardy. My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore that the world would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm glad to hear you still value human <laughs> life over your <laughs> mechanical toys, comrade <laughs> Sechenov. But that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. 
Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else. And the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working Comrade class will cast off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population. The launch of the collective neural network. Operation Atomic Heart. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water? They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov, some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? What to find out? The Politburo has come to a decision. And I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction. We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? <laughs> the cartoon. <laughs> I think 
Chad. Um. Yeah, so I can have all the wheels. It's fine. Uh, uh. Shields you from all damage while dodging. You seem a little mixed up, Sonny. <laughs> You've got a memory like a sieve, haven't you? Well, I guess there's a few little things I can't remember since I got injured. But I do. Little things, you say? Well, now you've got something really important to do. Pretty much. I need to get to the VDNH. Is there a train station around here? It's right past the village. Head down the road, you can't miss it. Just keep an eye on the sky. That's a weird pet you got there. What's so weird about her? I make some pretty special tea, I'll give you that. But this is just a plain old chicken. <laughs> what? That's a joke. <laughs> this is facility 3826. It's like the Emerald City. Haven't you ever seen a chipped chicken before? Can't say I have. Actually, I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, go ahead and take a look. <laughs> anyway, I gotta run. Off? You go, little pup. Oh, I almost forgot. You didn't find a couple of rings down there, did you? Gold ones in a facility 3826 box? Rings in a box? No, Granny Zena, I didn't see anything like that. I was kind of busy. Well, off you go then. Enjoy the VDNH. Thanks. I really help. Wait, you're meeting Stockhausen there, aren't you? How the hell did you know about that? Little bird told me. Tell the crowd things might have been different if he hadn't been chasing after another man's woman. <laughs> Whatever. I have no idea what you're talking about. Grab a car in the village. It's a long walk to the station. There's a chicken there, actually. What the hell? Alright, no, up I go. Charles, who is this Granny Zena lady anyway? That's a difficult question to answer, Comrade Major. I've never met her. Yeah? I figured you knew her. Why is that? You didn't say a word when we were talking. I assumed you didn't want her to hear your voice. I decided not to reveal myself until I can determine exactly whose side she's on. Makes sense. So. What about this atomic heart project Dr. Sechenov was talking to Comrade Molotov about? I have no data about it. You'd have to ask Dr. Sechenov. Eh, it doesn't matter. The boss will tell me about it if I need to know. Let's go find a way to the station. Hmm. Where's us? We're finally in the system. We can see the whole place this way. Let's look for the right camera. Um, what? <clears throat> We've got a camera. Are you getting any telemetry, Charles? I'm in the system. Hey, it works. That's great news. This is definitely going to come in handy. What are we doing?
the hell? I don't see anything I can interact with, but I sense that the scanner in your glove can be activated while accessing the video camera. Let's try it. Active 12. Um... So I don't get it. I can see stuff and that's it, like... Whoa. Yeah. Um,
Well, shit. Be careful, Major. The enemy has raised the alert level. From. A I don't know, man. robot is delivering them from a nearby factory. Shrunk. Huh. Oh, crap. There you go. Why? <laughs> there you go.
Ah, we found the station. And the train is right there. All we have to do now is take a seat and we're off. I sincerely hope we don't encounter any obstacles along the way. Don't jinx it, Glove. Otherwise, we'll find a goddamn canister lock on the door. There are bodies everywhere. They never saw the bots coming. No one expected civilian robots to display this kind of aggression. No shit. I wouldn't have seen it coming either. Robots pulled our country back from the edge of a cliff after the Brown Plague. Mm. A decade later, people believe civilian robots are dependable and helpful. It's a terrible shame. <laughs> Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high speed train and the crown jewel of takes a I need to get to the VDNH right away. It will be my pleasure, comrade. The current load of the train line is zero percent. Mm -hmm. You may depart immediately. Great, let's go. Assuming you have purchased a ticket. A, a ticket? A fucking ticket? Are you stupid? There are corpses everywhere. There's an emergency protocol in effect over the entire facility. Start the train right now. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. I do not detect any signs of pregnancy. <laughs> show me a note from the gynecologist. <laughs> I'll show you signs of pregnancy, you piece of shit. If you have a mental disability, please present your disability certificate. That's it. You're fucked. Comrade Major. Note that this particular Rafik is not an autonomous system. He is the high-speed train Vortex. Destroying him will permanently disable the train. All right. Listen here, you lousy hunk of junk. Mm. Where do I get your fucking ticket? You may purchase it at the nearest ticket window. There are special discounts available for passengers traveling with children. Uh, what ticket window, you dumb shit? They're closed. Everyone's dead. Nobody's selling tickets. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. <laughs> Cram it, you prick. I'll end up hoofing it all the way to the VDNH at this rate. Fine, whatever. I'm out of here. Mm. Okay. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? Search every single body here? I suggest talking to the polymerized victims. Shit. Oh no. Do I have to? That's like the worst. I can't. I just can't. I can't wait. You don't have a spare ticket, do you, Cam? A ticket? Yes, I do have a ticket. How come? Because this station is jinxed. Can't... <laughs> I'd use a different word, but I don't want to. There's no other practical explanation. It's a jinx. I'm, I'm the best. When I got here one minute before departure, everything froze before my set. Why don't I help you get rid of your jinx ticket and your backward super stump? Take it! Take it and break the jinx. Thanks. Not sure about the jinx, though. That's it. Okay. I thought it's gonna be a one of those one to three thing. Oh well. Greetings, comrade. 
Welcome aboard Vortex. The unique and set <laughs> Here's your ticket. Now start the engine. Your ticket has expired. Your train departed four hours ago. <laughs> Please exchange the expired ticket at the ticket window. Are you shitting me? <laughs> expired? Everyone here was already dead four hours ago. Have you just been going back and forth the entire time? Start the engine before I kick your metal ass. Riding with an expired ticket is unworthy of a Soviet citizen. Please exchange the expired ticket at the ticket window. Choke on it and die, you fat turd. <laughs> Fine, whatever. I'm out of here. Okay. Did feel too easy. There are no tickets. The window is closed. I need a train ticket. A ticket? What <laughs> the hell are you talking about? There are no tickets. Sorry, comrade. No one can help you now. All right. Kai, rescue. Excuse me, comrade, but do you have a tr must go ramen key? What? Failed everyone. People dying. Holy hell! I'm wasting an robots. Not glad to be of service. I'll keep that in mind. I gotta go. <laughs> okay. Good stuff. Boom. This guy go there? No. Well, maybe. Indestructible. Maybe, maybe not. Yep. I don't know. I'm sorry. suffers mm. 
Uh. Can I have your train ticket, comrade? It's an emergency. Are you alive? Then run. You can make it. Leave the area. I can't. I'm the guy who's going to clean it this... This is exactly what we thought when we sounded the alarm. And now we're hiding out instead of fixing the... I'm guessing your ticket's expired. I have a monthly pass. Has mm. it been a month yet? How long have I been lying here? Ah, it hasn't been a month. Mm -hmm. Mind if I borrow your pass, comrade? You don't need it anymore. And that fucking Rafik on the train is bu You saw a Rafik? Do not approach it under any circumstances. Rafiks kill you if you try talking to them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they sure do. What about it? <clears throat> have you got a pass or not? I have. Take it. It's, it's in my pocket. I can't reach it. I'll get it. <laughs> Thanks, comrade. Do not approach graphics. They're dangerous. No, no, ah. damn. What? Mm. There. Nah. Got to take it. Don't be happy now. Greetings, comrade. <laughs> Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train. And the crown jewel of facility 3826 transportation yeah, yeah. system. Blood sucker. Is this ticket okay? Will you let me ride now, you blood sucker? Why didn't you notify me you had a travel document, comrade? It could speed up the departure of the train. <laughs> Maybe because I didn't have it back then. Are you saying this isn't your ticket? Riding with someone else's ticket is unworthy <laughs> of a Soviet citizen. What did you just say? Please do not worry. Having analyzed the situation, I came to the conclusion that you are a law enforcement officer investigating an emergency. <laughs> it is obvious that you are allowed to travel free of charge under the current <laughs> circumstances. <laughs> are, are you serious? Feel free to take any available seat. The train is departing in... <laughs> 10 seconds. Uh. Wow, we just witnessed a real miracle of science. Right. The train is now departing. Next stop, Solnechnaya Station. Charles, Professor Zaharov's death seems pretty cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? We've already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I understand, Comrade Major, mm. but what do you need to get to the bottom of? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed? That is unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatova went after Petrov. She's a woman in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? Next 
Time for dirt nap, Stuck. Get your ass up and head to cover. Spill it. What did Station Off say? Oh, okay, okay. Easy it's like, now. Okay, okay. Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head down. To the... Okay. Uh, Comrade Station Off wants you to go there right now and in initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? What the hell for? Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, okay. Anything else? Uh, Comrade Station Off asked me to give you this. Huh. This will come. You're a soldier, Agent B3. Your job is to cover me. Okay. What are you doing? So just cover me. Huh? Wait, where are you going? Uh, slippery little bitch. Oh, what the hell? Pretty here, just like Moscow. <laughs> Better, actually. More futuristic, and on a larger scale. My design. Your what? A linguistic error. I meant to say that it embodies my favorite design. Dipshit. Okay, how do we get there? Hmm. That's fun. I did not want to do that. There it is. Okay. Lost half HP. It's fine. And here's Lenin. Just like at the VDNH in Moscow. Indeed. But this statue was erected not by simple workmen, but by robots, based on a sculptor's sketches. This approach has become quite popular over the last... Locked. What else is new? Hmm. Charles, open it. Unfortunately, I... Lack the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken record, you know that? I'll deal with it. <laughs> God, are you ever gonna give it a rest? Oh. Don't need this crap. Let's go there. Hey, a Valon. Sweet. Fuck you. Fuck you. I said fuck you, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we have here? Nothing. Are you planning to disable the Hawk? It isn't responsible for opening the VDNH's doors, you know. Uh, w well, I gotta do something, okay? I'll start with the Hawk. What? How do we do that? Huh?
What is that? Ooh, it's glitching. What? What? The game is glitching. What is the hawk here? The hell? This doesn't explain anything. It's been yes. I have no idea. And we're glitching again. Um. Fixed. Order the hawk to land this tremor. Hello. It's the Hawk service button. What does it do? It will cause the hawk to land, so it can be serviced by a technician. How long will it stay there for? If it fails to make contact with a technician, not long. What are you planning? I'm gonna take a ride on the hawk and get a better view of the place. Maybe I'll see something. What should I do? Hang on to this handle or something? Hold on tight. Hawks are not designed to be ridden. Maybe I can slide down a cable. Okay. Where to? Park? There? 
people and say yes. Interesting fact. From a bird's eye view, you can see that the grass in the park was planted in the shape of the peaceful atom. A bird's eye view? Hmm. Looks like a place for a fight. Okay. Shit, would you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hog 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable. What the hell? Yeah. Fuck. You mind fucking off? Whoa. Jesus. Hold this for me, would you? Oh yeah. There's a hawk in the sky. Love me. Up. Up and said. Let me run away. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it does anything. Was that a civilian robot? For real, that thing, a civilian robot. You tell me, Major. <laughs> you have far more experience with combat robots than I do. I mean, what do you think? Yeah. Doesn't rub my ass. Need to make some heals. Pretty impressive, isn't it? You can really tell we're on the threshold of something really incredible. I just wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place. The celebration will be held on Monday in honor of national polymerization and the launch of Collective 2.0. All the highest ranking members of the Communist Party will be here. I can fix all this by then. I certainly hope your optimism turns out to be justified. Huh? More locked doors. Who the hell keeps locking everything? Whoever he is. I bet he's got a goddamn combination lock on the John at home. The system of mirrors will focus beams of light on the model of our solar system hanging above the entrance. Great. The mirror on the right is all set. 
Uh, the mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. This? Okay. No entry and a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's not going to kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. Oh, shit. <sighs> Comrade Major, oh, have shit. you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. <clears throat> oh, shit. No. Oh, damn it. All right. That'll do. Whoa. Fading data. Oh. What is that metal bars? Those freaks in their goddamn mustaches again. <laughs> yeah. What you staring at, you metal dipshit? Another door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. Really? What do we do?
Jump in there, but is there a point. Nah, probably missed something. point of this fucking maze anyway oh, the yeah. magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from kiev polytechnic university it's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation so it's plan b in case of a natural disaster among other things but it <laughs> is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system here under earth conditions the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space cool Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. Yeah. Oh no. Blech. So where's the thing for this? Oh shit. Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against uh, Dr. Sechenov? Why Jesus. do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. 
The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are, but neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrades Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common, everyday power struggle. <clears throat> Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. Destructible. Get there, man. See that? They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others.
No, I know that high rank love is smart. party members will have more authority and collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever no. do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. <laughs> Has anyone ever reached that level, even here in the USSR? Uh. We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. But individuals in privileged leadership positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control of Collective. That's why he's on his way here right now. Crispy critters. I never <laughs> liked that guy. He's always complaining about Sechenov, but I never expected shit like this from him. We gotta hurry. Oh yeah, I know about that. Uh -uh. Wait, what? Where do we go? Open up. Oh, there it is. God damn it. So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up? <laughs> this place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. Fixed it like that. Infiltrated the VDNH yet, Comrade Major. Yeah. The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. Mm. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the Maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, Comrade Major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. Hello? What? Nothing. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. Oh, what? 
in eternity looking at this worthless hunk of junk. It's a phase. It's already passing. I can't even remember my own name. They told us robots were going to Just leave me alone. Okay. Kill the guy though. Boom. All right. There, save. What now? An attempt to happen? Huh. It's not about how it's happening. They told us robots were going to. They didn't say set. Just leave me alone. Saved. It's in here. Onk. Dead bodies all over the place. Yeah. Smoking sure. Still heard something. The outside. Tereshkova's arm. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? Fuck that. There's no way I'm leaving that thing alive. I agree. What's up? Can see it. Didn't. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, no clue. Oh, this. Um, this. Move to Nora. There. Now what? Please select the desired procedure. What? Too much like that. Mm. 
Authorization. Major Nichayev, code name P3, access. Something is messed up here. Storage. There's the damn thing. How many I have of these shits? Or do I have vodka? Oh man. There it is. Um, what is this? Bad boy rockets. It was there the whole time. Yeah, I don't know what the what is for. Oh that. College rounds. <clears throat> Love heels. Mm 
recoil. It's maxed out. Yeah, we need more of that. Uh, what else? Yeah. missing this for everything all right please select the desired procedure <sighs> character yeah. Get a little bit. Damn. This menu supplies allow you to full drain your health in a matter of seconds. Wow. So it's more health. Okay. These are all big. That's it. Oh, wait, what? What is it for? Or wait, switch. Let me switch those things. Oh ho! Install. Do it. Now what? <laughs> oh, get take off. Get. Hmm. How do I? S oh, end slots. There we go. Two, three, four. Okay. Just a strong attack. Okay. Well, we're about to find out. Gonna get eight slices, eight dices. I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? The line can be, be uh, opened with my multi key. Error. Multi key not found. All Terish Cobra models can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one of their basic functions. Looks like you lost your multi key. My forearms have been torn off by miscreants. Error. The required manipulative node is missing. The unlocking function cannot be initiated. Right. 
Where could she have lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this lo- I It shows here, so... Oh, really? Huh? Would've been there. It slices. It dices. Found it. I guess. How does it work? Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Multi key activated. Broken. Now what? Hello. Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Did we fix her or break her? The Tereshkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing... I don't give two wet farts. <laughs> Much better. With your permission, I'd like to deliver a speech now. No. Greetings, comrades. And well, the Escher. What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies. My algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases what? lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or <sighs> I see. I guess nobody expected this to happen. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you, and may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are slept. Exactly, if there are any left. This place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. This arouses yeah. suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. What? And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove that you are a human. Really now? What the fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. But Fine. Knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed uh, to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Crispy critters. Now I gotta deal with another crazy-ass lock. Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit. <laughs> uh, um. Okay. What? Um. <clears throat> Was you can check it out. Just play music. Tereshkova loves that, even though she's a robot. What symbol in Sprout? Flowers. Give her flowers. What? Some robots are almost human, and some humans are almost robots.
How do I give her anything? So, there's yes, I am always happy. That lady. All right. What tool is depicted on the flag of the Soviet? Oh, got it. I'll go look. Uh, the mental. What allows music to reach our heart? Uh huh, right. <laughs> yeah, sure. <gasps> Listen, tear this right up. There can be no hints for this one. Only something that lives can represent. Yeah, okay. Problem is, I can't take anything. What we're gonna do is try that. Didn't work. Yard. Oh, what's this? Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not. The hammer tool of words. It is not. <sighs> skip, skip, skip. Put something sure out of that. Radio of the future. Put the silicon in the future. Well spotted. Oh, shit. Inside on it. Here you go. Does it hear the springs chip me on and then oh, shut your face, you dumbass toaster? I'm sorry. <laughs> All this chaos is causing my emotional album to pioneer Nichayev. You pack up one. A cosmonaut. What a splendid. Do you have a memory leak or something? I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into dr Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Wow. Why are you yanking my fucking chain? But. I can provide you with a solution. You see, a single robot <sighs> cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots instead of one. Oh my God. So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? Before that dreadful <laughs> nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire. A pup. Did they scatter her all over the complex? Um, call it a hunch. Do I have to scour the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I can tell you where the pieces of poor. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me. Oh God, disaster! It's disaster, man. This whole thing is just monstrous. The robots must have completely lost their minds. <laughs> Faster. Oh, 
Oh my, would you look at this? Helping lumberjacks and first responders is such a noble goal. But you, how do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like a primitive animal, like a beast to crush and dismember. You stop, like, what the hell? And this one, it just stands there buck naked as if nothing were wrong. Have you no shame, robot? Publicly exposing your iridium compactor. You do realize he didn't do it himself, right? Oh my, that's a mess. And who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. No, wait. It's the cleaners that did it. <laughs> I'm so scatterbrained today. Oh, I envy you humans. You can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible <laughs> monstrous mustache off. But this one... You're not even a machine, you nitwit. You're <laughs> just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Pardon the outburst. It's just that one of them used to try to... Oh, well, let's change the subject. Okay. There's a wide range of the lab tech models. The ones in black turned out to be especially vicious. They've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser to pick off humans from a distance. How did it ever come to this? Just so you know, the Black Lab Tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar Neurogel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated Black Lab Techs, provided its capsule is still in one piece. What? I didn't understand a single thing you just said. You're an assistant, Tereshkova. Talk human. Shocking. You have no sense of decency. I gather what? you've already met Nora, the monstrous repair vendor who's subjecting humans to unimaginable deadly torture. It pains my algorithms to have to send you into her bloody clutches, but we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. Yeah, yeah. Move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. On my way, comrade. Oh, God. Is she gonna comment every fucking thing? Don't you dare. Whoa, God damn it. Who's a good boy? Who's the sweetest, silliest, chubbiest little boy, you little goo? You don't attack people even when you're in combat mode because you're such a little sweetie, isn't that right? Aren't you precious? I attack him. This <laughs> shit. Here we are, comrade. The administrative control drive should be at this booth. Please establish the connection. What? Only Try to be gentle, comrade major. I have very delicate internals. Oh, what just snapped? Uh. Relax, bot. That's my joints cracking. <sighs> Good bot. Ah, does this look all right? Administrator level rights granted successfully. What now? I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complex's floor and find my dear Claire. I'll be in touch over the radio. As soon as you reach a floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. No. Let me go. Oh, finally. 
Wow, check this place out. It's like a palace. Talk about class. Let me just drink it all in. Attention, BDNH staff. Visiting hours will begin in 15 minutes. Please conclude all maintenance and proceed to your workstation. I just jump there. Hello. Hold on. Ooh, one shot. What? 